this is Elizabeth and today I have an interesting new brand of toy. This one is called Kingdom Builders and this is the Build-A-Beast from Kingdom Builders. Most of the characters are human and they transform themselves into tools to then build or bash each other's creations and then create better ones after they've been bashed and of course the good guys are the builders and the bad guys are the bashers and they are pirates so i absolutely love 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 this concept how great is this it's also super punny it says on the back actually only you have the power to decide who is a winner and who is a tool which i think is just fantastic several really great puns in here and usually each character has something punny that he says and he's a specific tool build a beast is kind of different because he has multiple different tools and you can put him in all different places all over his body and i am so excited look how big this thing is you guys by the way like here's my hands here and i'll throw a ruler in here so you can see this is a 12 inch ruler here so this thing is huge super ridiculously huge um and i mean even the actual build the beast sorry i'm holding the ruler upside down is pretty huge this weapon is another you know seven inches long they're crazy crazy huge big epic pieces so i will be right back i'm going to get all this out of the box and then i'm going to show you what he does and talk about it okay here we go oh actually i'm going to show you the sides of the box first before i do that and as always, feel free to pause the video anywhere you need to in order to read anything that you missed. And this just has a, oops, sorry, a spinning feature here, but it's really close to his face, so I don't want to accidentally hit him there. Um, this packaging is obnoxiously huge. I, uh, I really, really hate what they've done with this packaging. Here's some of the other sets and figures that you can get. But, I mean, this was just unnecessary. I know the figure's huge, and he still would have looked huge if they had put him in normal packaging. But having all of this extra bulk means he is crazy to ship and crazy to wrap. If you guys are trying to wrap this separately, you're going to want to put it in another box. Forget attempting to wrap it just like this. This thing is crazily made. I also am a little bit sad because see how we've got this box going on here? It would be super cute if we could actually take this and use it as a play piece with our cat you know maybe he can jump on it or push it around or something fun but they connected it to the bottom of the box instead of making it detachable so that we could play with it i mean it would have been a cheap cardboard add-on but it was already there why not make it for us so i don't know super disappointed in the packaging other than that it looks fairly easy to remove everything so i'm gonna get it out and we're going to talk more about it. So just to show you a little bit more of what I meant, I took out one of these boxes that I said would be super cute to be able to still play with. And it's still really odd. This one kind of connected, the box connected just over these slots. But you still can't really make it into a nice box to play with. And it has no bottom and it doesn't really work out. So it's, it's useless. I had to do Build the Beast first because this is the first one that I purchased. But I have several others to show you, including Builders and Bashers. So stay tuned. It's going to be awesome. We're going to check them out here soon. And I am also doing videos on the sets. So I can't wait for that. Build the Beast does come with an instruction manual, as do all of the toys and sets, and I will show you it here real quick. It's a quite a large little booklet here, but the front shows all of the contents that should be included, and then the inside shows how to transform or accessorize your Build the Beast. He really sort of accessorizes into his weapons and tool more than transforming as the human characters do. All right, so I've got Build a Beast out of the box, and if you have read any reviews online, you know that you really can't purchase one that doesn't have at least one broken leg coming out of the box. So this one was actually broken in the box, and I hunted stores for a while to try to find one that wasn't broken, and every single one that I saw on every single store shelf had at least one broken leg. Several of them had two or three broken legs. Some of them had missing legs entirely, so this was a really, really poor design. Now, I did attempt to glue this with hot glue. As you can see here, there's a bit of hot glue because the way that it breaks, it's just sort of a thin ring of plastic that snaps off in here. 
So when it breaks, there's really not a whole lot to glue it back on, and then the leg loses its motion and posability if you put too much glue. So, unfortunately, the hot glue did not stick well enough, and the leg just came right back off. I did get another Build-A-Beast, because again, you know, I was having this issue. I got another Build-A-Beast that I attempted super glue on, and I glued it very, very small amounts, super carefully, and if you do it just right, you won't lose all motion in the legs that you glue back on. I actually had to glue two legs back onto this guy, so that was unfortunate. One more note about the poor design on the legs, besides how cheaply it was made and it breaking in the box and even in gentle play, this is a really strange design because even if it was well connected, it looks as if the leg should be removable. You insert a screw into this hole, and then once you remove the screw, the two pieces should come apart, right? And since this is an educational toy where we're kind of teaching kids that these screws or bolts will either put together or take apart pieces, I feel like this is a little bit confusing for that. Not to mention with how cheaply it's made, if you actually push on this at all, the legs are falling off. You're going to have to glue them all back on. That's just kind of part of this toy. It makes me a little bit sad. Beyond that, he is actually a really cool toy. Now he comes with four different weapons. One of them is, and I'll show him up close too, I guess, so you can see his face and all of his detail. He's a very highly detailed figure, including color and textural detail, which is really nice. This squishable stomach is a little bit odd and sometimes gets stuck. It's also potentially a pinch point for little fingers. But with those things aside and the really, really, really poor design and quality control with the broken legs, if you're okay with gluing them back on and not having any motion in them or can very carefully glue them back on to keep some of the motion, you're good. And he's a really cool toy. Now when you press the button on top of him, there's a little wrench here on the button and his tail will wag. This is now a wrecking ball, which is one of the weapons that he has attached to him. Additionally, this tail piece is removable and it is a Phillips head screw on this side. Now on the inside, there is a hexagon hole and it looks almost as if you would be able to use it as a hex wrench. Sadly, it is just a little bit too small. So I really would have liked to have seen Little Tykes be able to expand that just a tad so that you could use it as both tools, which would have been super epic. Now, the most exciting thing about this toy is that he is one of the few characters actually that will interact with the sets because he has a Phillips head screwdriver. The sets only come with one type of fastener. It's a Phillips head bolt, and there are no other fasteners available as of yet, even though there are several characters and sets already released. Now, the other weapons that he has all do move. This one is a manual weapon. It is a sledgehammer combination hammer, and it is spun manually in order to activate this weapon. It has an attached screw that's all of the time attached so you don't lose this screw, and you can put it in any one of the four leg holes as well as in the top hole here. Here is another tool. This one is a drill and there's a yellow button over here or gold, however you want to word that. And when you press the button, the drill will spin, which is super, super cool. The other weapon is a grappling hook. And this is about seven inches long, you guys. This thing is pretty huge. Now the screw at the very back is not a real screw, but it is actually a button to launch the projectile. So I'll do that real quick. It does not go very far and it's a rather large projectile which is good because it means it's safer for kids and pets and it's a lot harder to lose the projectile which is a common issue with a lot of toys now what i love most about this toy is that all three of these accessories can be placed anywhere in any of these five holes on build -Beast, but also on any of the holes throughout the wreck and roller set or the hex castle set which is really, really cool on versatility. Look at these bright colors and all of this detail. This guy is super cool. He does have four joints on the legs, but again, if you glue them just wrong, you will no longer have those joints. And he has a ball joint on his head so that his head can spin all the way around. His mouth does not open and close, which may be for the best as his teeth are a bit pointy. You don't want any small fingers getting pinched in there. Now, the collapsible stomach is designed on purpose so that the other characters can ride him. I'm going to bring in a Sir Philip for this demonstration here, and I'm going to move these tools around so that you can see this. Now, you're going to 
widen out the character's legs and sit him right over the belly and push his legs in. Sir Philip doesn't really sit super well on the toy, but if you kind of adjust his arms, he'll sort of sit up. The characters do not actually connect to his back, but they will sort of sit on it. And see, I kind of am moving his feet so that his feet brace him from falling too far forwards. And now Sir Philip can ride him into battle. Now Sir Philip is not the only figure who can ride him. Any of the figures are able to ride him some fit and stay better than others. I will actually post a video later where I do a comparison video and I'll put each of the figures on Build to Be so that you can see how well each one rides him. Now I will show you the use of this tool as well because this is pretty cool. Every fastener that's included I had told you was the Phillips hex bolts and they can be screwed in, I guess I'll, I'll show it in a leg so that you can see it better in this video. Now you can do this by hand, of course, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So you can do this by hand. You can see I'm spinning it to the right in this video, which is nice that you can do it by hand, but for the educational purposes, here's a little tool, which is actually really nice to hold even in my adult hands here. And for the little ones, they can get a good grip on it because of all of these spikes that aren't super sharp. So great design on this removable tool, but you're just going to stick it in here and rotate and now you're going to be able to attach these screws. Sadly, there are no plastic nuts in any of these sets, including Build-A-Beast, and because these tools are so long and not balanced in the center of gravity of this tool, they will unscrew themselves every couple minutes and you will be constantly adjusting the Build-A-Beast tools as well as the accessories that go on the sets. So it was not made super well. Overall, it was a fantastic concept. It was just very cheaply executed with poor designs and quality control, so a bit of a disappointment. But if you can glue him back together, he is a really fun toy. I was really expecting a higher quality toy from a name brand like Little Tykes, and I'm a bit disappointed in what I got from this, especially with this figure. All of them are made of the cheap, lightweight plastic, which I kind of expect from toys these days, but this is so cheap, so thin, so lightweight that it already comes broken, which is a really, really big issue that they so far have not fixed, and it's been a little over a year since these were out. Now, I do want to note as well that these are toys that I have purchased. I found them wandering through the toy aisle at Target and got really excited about the concept because I do have backgrounds in mechanical engineering, a little in construction, and of course in art as well. So this was a fantastic toy idea that I wanted for me as well as kids in the family. So you're going to want to give it to older kids who are going to be more careful with it and you're going to need to glue it back together. But if you are okay with those couple of things and you can get it at maybe a discounted price, it's worth the buy because this one is really, really cool. Now, I do have reviews of all of, well, almost all of the other characters, as many as I could find, as well as two of the sets, and I am going to be posting those over the next few days and weeks, probably about one a day so that it's not too overwhelming. And I will do an overall review video at the end there where I compare several of the different characters and some of the uh, set pieces together. Overall summary of the pros and cons. Now I did actually write out a list and I did this for helping me to write a full written review which I did post on Amazon. So if you'd like to check that out, you can follow the Toy Herder on Amazon as well and mark any of my reviews as helpful if they help you out. Now here are the summary pros and cons. Now I'm gonna start with the cons because it's a little bit easier to say and I've kind of already said it several times. It was, It's made of really cheap, really thin plastic that breaks very easily, especially the leg pieces break super easily. Um, and the other big con is of course the legs are broken in the box before you even play with it and of course break in gentle play as well which is really quite a big problem especially if you're giving this toy to any younger children and forget it if you have a rough kid or a less careful or more clumsy kid. Um, pros though, there are actually a lot on this guy. He comes with four different weapons, a projectile grappling hook, the double hammer, the drill, and the wrecking ball tail, as well as this tool, which is removable and really nice to hold. Another pro is that he is actually, all three of these weapons actually 
interchange in with the sets and as well as this tool and the other accessories from the sets can be used to put into any of these holes as well. It might be a little strange on him because there's different things like flags, torches, and that sort of thing, but for fun and creative purposes, you can attach any of them because all of the holes are the same size, which is super nice. He's got really bright colors. He's really big. All of the tools are really big. Um, he has, in theory, five points of articulation, including this ball joint in the head, which is my favorite one because he's got tons of motion here, and his legs do um, have a spinning joint in each of the thighs. Also, one of my favorite parts is that this projectile really doesn't shoot super far, and it's rather large, which means it's a little safer for the kids and the pets and, you know, any parents walking by, of course, too, and it's a lot harder to lose, so super great on that. One more thing that I did want to note because I don't think that I talked about it earlier and some people might be curious. Now this drill is supposed to be meant as a drill that makes holes. It does not actually work to screw in or out any of the Phillips head screws. I'm going to try to show the tip of it here and it's going to be a little bit hard to see but it doesn't quite have the right tip to fit in here and actually be able to screw the screw, which would have been a really neat feature to see. Unfortunately, that is not the case here. So let me know what you guys think of this toy and what your experience was. Let me know what ages you thought this was good for. Honestly, Little Tyke said that it was a three plus toy, but I think it's probably better aimed at slightly older ages, especially with how cheaply all of this is made. But I love it for both a boy or a girl this is fantastic. I did knock a star because of the quality and all the broken legs, of course, so I gave it a four out of five stars. But I want to know what you guys think, so let me know down in the comments. Leave a like on this video, and of course, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks so much for watching, and catch you next time. Bye!